they did not want to take a nap and I couldn't really blame them. We had them down in like underwear and diapers and it was still, you know, 83 degrees in the room. So, um, we didn't want to be there. They didn't want to be there. So we looked up the nearest beach and that's where we're going. <laughs> so we'll see how this goes. Here's the spontaneity. But I will say we checked our checklist because we've gotten in the habit of doing these things sporadically. Um, but the most important thing that we found is going through that we have diapers, we have wipes, uh, sunscreen, snacks, water, and change of clothes. And that is what we're doing. We also are stopping by Walmart because we had to stop by to get a few things anyway, um, including beach towels because we didn't pack that in our travel trailer. So uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. And I will let you know how the day goes in the following footage. <laughs> Hello again. Yep. We're back. <laughs> we survived. <laughs> yeah, we just wanted to give a quick update on how things went. Yeah. It was a pretty good trip. Um, we got back a little late. Bedtime's usually 8, 8.15 yeah. for them. Um, I think we got back to the trailer about 8.40 or so. But they were definitely tired, but they did okay. And they didn't really nap very well today either because... Yeah, that was the whole start of yeah, this. Yeah, that was, that was, was kind of why we decided to say screw it and let's just go somewhere because it's hot and they're not napping. They slept on the way with the AC that in the truck. Nice. So that was good. Um, it was a nice break from 88 degrees in the trailer. Yeah. Uh, um, we, we did stop at Walmart. We ended up getting beach towels. I picked up like a $10 little basket of beach toys. And then got some diapers. Yeah. That 
was that yeah, was along it. with the essential list. Yeah, then we just hung out at the beach for a couple hours, really and it was nice. Elliot ran around, found a bunch of sea cucumbers, oh my goodness, the sea cucumbers floating yeah. around. I introduced him to one, and I broke it in half to show him what was inside of it, and he proceeded to go and find all the other ones and break them in half and throw them, okay. which was fun. Okay. Um, Except for the last one. It's a plant. I mean, we're not vegan or something. Still. So, no, but it was so cute because we found one. <laughs> and then afterwards I told him it could still be alive, so let's put it back in the water. And then he's like, let's put it in the water so we can have more adventures. Solid. And then I asked him what his name was, and he said, sea cucumber. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't need That's enough name. Mean. He's very literal. Yes. I don't know where he gets that from. <laughs> not me. <laughs> But yeah, um, I think as spontaneous trips go, like, it always seems really, like, scary. You're, like, you always think you have to plan a million things for these things. Yeah. Um, but I think our favorite trips usually are the ones that were, like, let's go. And yeah. then we just go. We found a little, there was one restaurant. There was, like, one taco truck. It was, like, oh, I just looked it up. Alfred A. McKinney Pine Island Beach Park. Does that sound right? Pine Island in Florida on the Gulf, Gulf Coast probably an hour yeah it was a Tampa state park it was beautiful it said that it was busier than usual and we still like found a spot no problem we just were able to walk right into the water the sand was really soft and clear we saw yeah. like little crabs and then we saw some dolphins yeah that and was it was cool. actually cooler there than it was where we are kind of in the interior of the state yeah because it so. was like 88 same like elevation bigger. or same latitude but i but think it was registering at like what 81 or yeah, something yeah it was like 81 yeah. according to the truck and it said it was 88 here so, so as far as plus you're on a beach so as far as florida goes pretty nice. that was a good that was a good beach yeah. we ate at the we ate at a restaurant inn. it'd be easy to find because yeah it's, <laughs> it's like just, six <laughs> minutes down the road once you get back on the mainland the Pine Island thing is yeah. kind of a peninsula. The snacks thing, so. we brought was a lifesaver. Um, yeah. A lot of people talk about or ask us how we go out to eat with our kids so often. Not that we should go out to eat. We've gotten a lot better at that. But we used to go out all the time with them. Um, and we figured out giving them snacks right before helps a ton. Yeah. Because usually they're acting wild. The more food and order an appetizer. It's more expensive, but it keeps them entertained. Oh, that's true. And whenever we um, remember, we usually bring pacifier holders because you yeah. can use them to tie toys to the table so they can't actually throw them off. Now they're pretty good, honestly. Like they, they've kind of gotten used to. But it I think it's because we got so. through that period. Yeah. I think a lot of this vacations, trips, restaurants. Yeah. It seems like it's a. It lot wasn't of... necessarily easy at first. No. But they get used to it, and they're much more go with the flow now than they used to be, and it's way easier to just. It has. It's been super and nice, and I feel like that might be discouraging to see like yeah. how easy <laughs> and great they are at these yeah. different things. But if we can find footage from when yeah. they were yeah. little, they they used was... to be bad. Elliot especially was yeah. horrible. Our our first trips, our first restaurants, our first, like, all of that. the whole time, so. But, but now he doesn't, he's now he's fine. Um, I don't know if they've grown or we've grown. And we get comments all the time from people that say how great they are at <laughs> restaurants, because I guess people just don't bring young kids, usually, yeah. and they're screaming, typically, when they do. And that's what people say. But, um, we had a manager come up to us, and they're like, it, it, yeah. the food lasted a little longer, and your kids were great, so we're going to bring you ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's cool. This is, yeah. this is the Lord thanking us after so many times of them screaming yeah so get yeah. out do stuff it's fun yeah it's worth it just make sure you have snacks even if it's more irritating than it used to be when you didn't have children but it's still yeah. better than not doing anything so. and they i mean just seeing it through their eyes is so much fun yeah so, yeah thanks we're we're tired yeah and a little we're gonna go take a shower <laughs> so we'll so. see y'all next video i would say good night i don't know what time it is for yeah. y'all but it's late here so Later. Bye.